Hey, so I'm Tyler with Livinger Coding and Marketing Systems. I'm here with, with Ryan, who's one of uh, four in-house service techs for Colony Packaging. They are our new distributor partner here in York, Pennsylvania. Uh, in front of us is the Jet3 SC Continuous Ink Jet Printer. Uh, this is uh, part of a broad portfolio of coding and marketing systems that we, solutions that we offer at Livinger. Um, all of our machines feature a very unique print head design. It's the really the, the world's first self-sealing print head. Uh, and it addresses all the issues that are common with inkjet coding. So the, the nozzle clogs, the hard starts, the, the unscheduled downtime, uh, we have addressed that. Uh, it's a fundamentally different approach to inkjet and we're really excited to partner with Colony to uh, get the word out in uh, Eastern PA. So the Jet 3 SC utilizes a Windows-based uh, user interface. It's uh, Ethernet, serial, uh, USB, and VNC uh, capable, so you can actually drive this machine from a smartphone if you want to. Uh, has a lot of information right on the display, fluid positions, how many prints until empty, uh, a lot of information for the operator um, and the customer in general to understand about the machine. Uh, drag and drop editing, uh, you can swap jobs pretty quickly, uh, edit on the fly, so a lot of these features you see here are even available on our, on our entry level hardware. Um, let's take a closer look at this, uh, this interface. The Jet3 SC also offers uh, built-in vision inspection software. So we have our own uh, uh, camera system that is powered by the printer, is triggered by the printer. You set the tolerances right here on the interface. Um, we also have a solvent saving mode. If you have idle periods in your production where typically a, a machine is left on and running because it's such a challenge to restart the coder, uh, we can define some time where if the machine doesn't receive a signal to print, at least the gutter will close so you're not wasting any, any solvents uh, as you wait for production to resume. Um, we have, of course, we have a uh, print history protocol. As I was saying earlier, this allows us to know when a particular job was started. Uh, we have 50 defined operator levels so you can have individual operators uh, uh, sign in so you let, to let you know who started the print job, when it was stopped, and how many, uh, how many products were run. This can all be exported to the USB drive and shared with a production manager uh, or really anyone that, that needs this information. Moreover, we have an event log um, that a lot the machine will actually capture the state of the, the, state of the, the, the unit itself uh, really every, every minute, you know, uh, just tracking viscosity, pressures, cycle rates on our pumps. Um, but we actually track all the events on the machine. Uh, you know, when it, when it called for solvent, when it called for ink, if there were any errors, what happened and when, and these can be exported and sent, again, out to a technician for evaluation, um, just to make sure that we can do, we can do some remote diagnostics. Uh, editing jobs or creating jobs are very easy. That's very intuitive. We can quickly edit this job. You can drag and drop and slide text really all over the screen to find, uh, you know, the, the font size if you have, uh, various uh, legends needed. Um, all your expiry dates are there, of course. We can print uh, from an external, external signal if there's variable information that needs to be added. Uh, you have all your counters, you have your shift dates. We can do 1D, 2D, and quick read barcodes on the Jet3 SE. Um, so, and, and again, we have user prompt fields. This machine, once everything is created, will let you know how many prints uh, are used per print so you can get a real precise um, usage rate on this hardware. So there's a lot of information available for the, for the, for the customer. So this is the print head on the Jet3 SC. Um, this is a continuous inkjet um, system. So there's some things that you can uh, familiarize yourself with. There is a nozzle, a charge electrode, a high voltage, and a gutter collector tube. The challenges with continuous inkjet printing is the ink that we use dries on contact. So when you shut this machine down and try to restart it, you can have some clotting and clogging within the circuit. And really, when you try to reestablish the jet from the nozzle to the gutter, you get a lot of splattering. That's similar to like when you turn on your shower head in the morning, you get that splat that splatter as you pressurize. Same thing happens within a jet within a uh, print head. Uh, the challenge, of course, is that that ink will splatter inside your sensitive charge components, and it affects the quality of the prints. It affects how we can charge the drops and deflect the drops. Drops. So what Livinger does to eliminate that situation is we simply retract the gutter. So when you're done running production, your operators are done running production for the day, they simply close the nozzle, which our gutter actually retracts, and it'll seal against the nozzle plate. So the jet stays pressurized, we just reposition where we collect the ink. So you don't get any clogging, you don't get any clotting, you don't get any splatter upon startup, 
the jet stays stable and pressurized at all times. We're the only manufacturer that does this, and it's a fundamentally different approach to inkjet. Also, this is the Jet One uh, continuous inkjet printer from Livinger. It's our new uh, entry-level machine. It's a one or two line uh, printed coder. Uh, it does have a very similar user interface to the rest of our platform. Uh, the hydraulics are the same. The Sealtronic print head is the same as all our other machines. So again, you should expect weeks, if not months, of runtime between any uh, you know operator intervention. Um, incredibly reliable, two-year warranty. Uh, still has a USB connectivity for scan and shoots or job transfer. Um, it's just a real new, exciting addition to our broad uh, coding and marketing portfolio. We're really excited to work with Colony and, and we hope we can do a demo soon.